I'm the lobby boy today. Ta Look at this, all our stuff. It's a pretty handy piece of equipment, really. Do you think we can strap something like this behind Bumblebee? Look at this glass floor. It just goes all the way down to the very, very bottom floor. And it took us quite a while before we were confident enough to walk on it. And I'm still a little bit apprehensive to walk on it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's scary. Last night we actually spent the night in a five-star hotel. <laughs> I think it's the first five-star we ever stayed at, hey? It was probably the most expensive room that we've had of the whole trip so yes. far. And I still bargained him down, you know? Yeah, you got him down from 2,000 lira mm -hmm. to 1,500, yes. which was 44 pounds in the end. Yeah. Would have been 60 pounds. I don't know if you guys can see my red nose, but I'm still sick. Yeah. Traveling when you're sick is not fun. <sighs> yeah, Bumblebee survived. Out here alone on the street. Looks good, eh? Looks good. I love this disc, disc alarm by Oxford. So good. Because literally, Bumblebee is always parked within earshot of this. It's like 120 decibels. It's really, really loud. So we know that basically, anytime somebody wants to mess with Bumblebee, we can come running down to save the day. <sighs> Three, two, one. Go. Let's do it. Okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Malatya in Turkey. And this town, as you can see around, was devastated by a huge earthquake, 7.2 on the Richter scale, eight months ago. Yeah, wow, it's super, super crazy. You can see on the top of the roofs there that the roofs are partially destroyed. Everything looks yeah. destroyed here. Yeah. If we had no idea coming in last night that this place was so badly affected by the earthquake. Yeah, but then wow. we spoke to a local guy at the kebab shop and he told us that 55,000 people died in this earthquake and it affected multiple cities across the region. Yeah, I think he said like 11 cities were involved in this earthquake and yeah, they're still recovering until this day, you know, it's like, it's so broken. Yeah, you can see the damage absolutely everywhere. Yeah, I'm so, I feel so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, it was pretty crazy this morning waking up and opening the curtains and just being able to see it because we arrived here and it was pretty much dark. Yeah. So we couldn't really see the full scale of the destruction. Absolutely crazy what happened here, absolutely crazy. Yeah. But we are ready to move on and hit the road today. So let me show you guys where we're heading. So we are here and today we're going to be heading west. So we'll be following the 300 roads all the way past the city of Kayseri and on to the second page of our Turkey map. From Kayseri, we are heading for the town of Goreme, home to the famous rock sites of Cappadocia. For those of you that aren't familiar with Cappadocia, Cappadocia is the place to go if you want to see lots of hot air balloons in a beautiful environment. Apparently they launch I don't know, 100 hot air balloons every morning at sunrise. So it's like a must go to place in Turkey. So we're hoping to get there today and find a spot to camp where tomorrow morning we can witness that magical event of all the hot air balloons taking off in the morning and going over this beautiful valley. Yes, fingers crossed we will have good weather and we can see the magic of the air balloons. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So Google Maps says it will take us five hours. It's already 11 o'clock, so better hit the road let's go so we found a sunglasses rack in this petrol station here and actually they don't look too bad so I'm just gonna try a couple of pairs on what are these ones okay hold on a second <laughs> how's that 
you know what I actually really like the look of these these ones here they're a little bit like fear and loathing in Las Vegas Johnny Depp style <laughs> maybe these should be like option B for you though I reckon this type of thing this is like high fashion whoa where's my Louis Vuitton bag? let me try these ones on circular ones a little bit John Lennon it's a little bit too funky these ones I desperately need new sunglasses they look good now so now I have to see if I can get this plastic bit off so that it's just metal wow they're really short <laughs> they're really short look at that okay that might still work yeah we have a new fan of the channel. Yay! Hello, hello. <laughs> On YouTube. 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 Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Nice. America, yes. The Asia, no Turkey. Turkey, back <laughs> England. England, <laughs> England, Yes, yes. It's really short. So I'm just gonna try wrapping tape around them as they are and see if that's going to be enough to stay in the helmet <laughs> look how short that is <laughs> okay let me see if that works it seems alright okay yeah let's go for it seems to be alright I mean it's just sort of stuck in there we'll go with it for now there you go new sunglasses So we just stopped here on the side of the road, just in front of a police checkpoint. But not because they asked us to stop, but because as we were coming down the hill, I had a super huge headache. Because we went up to quite high altitude and then we came down again. And because I have a blocked nose, I couldn't equalize the pressure. So I just got this like super sharp head pain. Like my body wanted to equalize that pressure, but my nose was blocked, my ears are blocked. Oh, I was terrible. I really thought I was going to pass out or something. So we just stopped here and then the police guys came over to find out what was going on and then they offered us a cup of tea so we had a cup of tea with them. It was really nice actually. Yeah. We didn't want to film them but they were really friendly. <laughs> but I blew my nose and I think the pressure equalized now. But man that's crazy. Have you ever been on a flight where where as you're landing you get that super crazy head pain? Your whole skull just goes <laughs> Oh, it's horrible because we just went over a pass and I think we probably went up to like 1,500 meters and then we just came down the other side suddenly it was like whoa and the police were like we didn't tell you to stop why are you stopping <sighs> one of the unexpected problems that occurs when you ride a motorcycle while sick with a blocked nose on the upside my sunglasses are working really well all right ready yeah Thank you! <laughs> bye bye! But they were super friendly. Really, super really nice. Friendly. He insisted that we come and sit down and have a tea with them. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, no, 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 you gotta have a tea. Yeah. It's not particularly fun to ride along when you're sick, no. that's for sure. <sighs> so we've decided to stop here at this hotel restaurant because we decided to call it a day for today I'm just not feeling really good today and Cappadocia is still like four hours ride away or just under four hours and then we would be camping so yeah we just decided that it's better for today take a room rest for the rest of today and hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling a bit better The next, <laughs> the next morning. Hello, guys. We are back. <laughs> yes, it's a new morning, and I'm feeling a little bit better. And it's time to resume our journey to Cappadocia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you say morning. It's more like lunchtime. 
<laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, we had to take a little bit of time, and I was just like lying in bed the whole time, just really trying to recover. Lavi was bringing me cups of tea. Yes, we had a beautiful free breakfast this morning as well. But yeah, yesterday I felt a little bit sick as well, actually. I know we only did like an hour and a half of riding yesterday, but I was just done already. I was just like, wow. Anyway, a new day, a new chance to recover, hey? Yeah, and because we did a bit of the ride yesterday, it means we've only got three and a half hours left to get to Cappadocia. And then we're going to be setting up camp at a campsite called Panorama Camping. And apparently this campsite is a really good spot to see all of the hot air balloons take off at sunrise over the valley at Cappadocia, which is basically like the main reason that people go to Cappadocia. Other than the fact that the area is super beautiful and has these amazing sandstone rock formations that they call fairy castles. Yeah, I really can't wait to see it. Super excited. Whoa, look at these guys. Oh, they're stopping. Nice. <laughs> wow. Hello. Very nice. It's a British car. Yeah. Can I jump in? <laughs> yeah, come in. Wow. We, we looked up your trip going from India to London yes. in this British car. Yes. That's amazing. Where did you start your trip? Andaban. Andaban. Yeah. Okay. We started from Andaban and uh, drove it down to Mumbai, and from Mumbai we shifted to Dubai, and then Dubai uh, to Iran, all of Iran, and uh, now it's all landed. Wow. Wow. This car is 73 years old. Who's in the support vehicle? My friends will be filming a documentary Amazing. on the whole thing. Amazing! Wow! So we're on YouTube also, same uh, this thing. My dad and my uncle, they're yes. both 70 plus. Oh, oh, okay. Like the car? Yeah, like the car. So we have three people who are over 70. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, my daughter and my wife, mm -hmm. they did all of Iran. And they join us again in Istanbul. Do you have like major breakdowns? Uh, not really. Not really? <laughs> well, one, we, the pressure plate uh, fingers broke okay so we had to you know remove the whole engine wow the entire gearbox and and you know how to do that a little bit you know i would say 30 percent <laughs> uncle knows 70 percent and then the rest okay we, we try and manage and get <laughs> some help since this was the first time i ever took it on a long journey yeah we had done about thousand kilometers in india okay but nothing of this scale so i said you know let's let's try and make sure that you know whatever resources i can afford let's try and put all of it so i bought another car which is there in southampton just for parts okay and then you can so, send if yeah. you need. so you bought a whole other one of these in in southampton in england just for spares yeah because i mean you know otherwise how do i ensure that i i'm able to finish yeah, yeah that's true that's true and you don't want to leave this amazing car in yeah. the middle of the desert somewhere no and all of them original parts yeah. everything on it i mean you know the lights the lamps Wow. Meter, everything, everything on this is original. And which year is it again? This is 1950. 1950? Yeah. So good. When I saw you guys zoom past us, I was, I was hoping that you would stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could see that, you know, you tried to slow down, but it's so slow that you have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Well, we stopped here. We were like, oh, we'll wait until you go past. What is the maximum speed? The top speed I have done on this is about 40, I mean, we, we do 30 to 40 miles. Okay. 30 to 40 miles an hour. An hour is like, like the cruising speed. Okay. And like 45 and then it starts flying. Yeah, so. <laughs>
<laughs> we do about 250 300 kilometers a day 8 to 10 hours of drive whoa okay do you take it in turns or it's just no, you it's, it's just, me. just you driving I just to do it. whoa sorry i didn't catch your Daman. name Darman, Darman, nice to meet you, Oli, Oli, and Lavi. Lavi, yes, nice yeah, to meet you. Lovely. Well, he is riding, he's the only one who is riding. Yeah. I'm just sitting and yeah, relax, you know. This was my bed when I was three. It this was in the shape of the car. No way. Yeah, from bedtime stories to real life journeys. Wow. The idea was that, you know, wherever it went, it, it brought joy to the people. Yeah. You know, it brought a smile on people's faces. And that's why we wanted to do this, you know, just to give joy and smiles to people across the world. It started as a story and then you just made it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it started a long time ago. But <laughs> whether you say karma or whether you say, you know, how fate or whatever. But, you know, probably the genesis of this trip was instilled when I was, you know, three or four or five. Yeah. And then, you know, then we feel that it's important to expose kids to such stories and get them to dream so when we went to dubai we actually go and visit schools everywhere we go so that you know if the kids see something like mm -hmm. this because they don't see this in mm -hmm. their normal daily routine mm -hmm. so we wanted them to experience it and you know just think of something different than yeah. your regular you know normal routine life you can think of doing something different it's great you know the kind of people that we have been able to meet yeah, it's incredible, incredible, you know. Okay, wait, show me. So this is a magnet of Lalpari. Look at that. He's just checking if he has a sticker Oh, as yeah, well. yeah, I got it. Uh, I you got it? Yeah, I found yes. It. yes. That's awesome. I like stickers. Yeah, yeah. Can we please have two? You can have it. If one of them you can stick on our box, collecting stickers yeah, from yeah. people along the way. Oh, great. Let me see. Ah, maybe here then? Yeah. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, awesome. I like this one. Yeah. So this is like you know, Indian uh, truck art. The truckers, yeah, they yeah, always put yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Thank you so much. That's amazing. So much. Really nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Okay. All the best guys, yeah? We see, see you. Guys. Wow, what a trip they're doing, hey? That's so nice in that car. Wow. And that he involves his family with it as well is so nice. Like he's driving with his dad. You know, it's so cool. And then his um, wife and the kids coming as well. So that's so amazing. And like you said, you know, he's dreaming about this trip actually since he's a young boy. And that he can finally do it is just so heartwarming, really. Well, that's the whole point, hey? Making your dreams a reality. What a dream, like what an achievement. I think we told you already in our Turkey information video that Turkey has actually 75% of the hazelnut production in the world. So I picked up a bag of hazelnuts. Beautiful. Should we try them? Yeah. It's the land of hazelnuts. Yes. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty good. Mm. Hazelnut yep. You know what is missing? Chocolate. So should we just buy Nutella instead? We've also got ourselves a nice picnic. This is all just stuff that we've taken from the free breakfasts over the last two days at the hotels. <laughs> so what have we got? We have some eggs, some cheese. For me some salad. And then we have these like deep fried cheesy rolls, I think. Wow. Mm. Oh no, there's actually ham inside. Ooh, one really, really incredibly nice thing. Baklava. Yeah, the Turkish people have managed to make the most tastiest dessert of all time. If you've never had baklava, go and find some and get it because it is so delicious. Layers of pastry with syrup and some nuts in there. It's just, it's the best, really, it's the best. So we're coming into the Cappadocia area now and we're already starting to see some beautiful rock formations. Yeah, it really looks so cool. Wow. Look, look at this. 
This is the fairy castle. Oh. And they have like loads of them around this area. Beautiful. Look at that. And it's interesting because these fairy castles are essentially just a harder layer of rock on top of a softer layer of rock. So the harder layer is protecting all of the soft rock below it and the soft rock actually gets cut away and leaves like just a pillar. Cool. And also, I can see some cave houses already over there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's another thing that Cappadocia is famous for. The cave houses. Because this is all sandstone everywhere, they've been able to carve them out. That's amazing. So pretty much where we are now is the center of the area where the balloons will fly over tomorrow morning. And the place we're going to be camping, Panorama Camping, is... Uh, just six minutes up here. Oh, look at this car. Oh. Nice. Wow, look at this area over there. Incredible. Yeah, the rock formations are so beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this whole area is just stunning. Wow, look at this place. Let's see, not that it's too sandy. Let's see if it is sandy. Ooh. Oh, no, it doesn't seem very sandy at the moment. Here, anyway, look. Okay, maybe it is a little bit sandy, actually. Oh, 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 God. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Have to be a little bit careful. Oh, no, it is actually too sandy. Look at this. Yeah, wow. Oh, that got sandy, like, really fast. <laughs> the first bit was fine and then suddenly it was like, okay, you can jump off, I'll park up over there. <laughs> Nearly buried, hey? Hello. Whoa, what a crazy area. Absolutely magical place, eh? You know, it's a little bit silly to say, but after I have traveled so much, you sometimes think that there's nothing which can like flash you in any way because you have seen so much. But I mean, this one here is like it's so crazy. It's so beautiful. It's totally out of this world. Yeah, and imagine this, but with like a hundred balloons as well. Can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna Seriously. be cool. So Lavi's gonna walk back to the road. I'm gonna go and pick her up there because it is still pretty tough terrain. We don't want to drop Bumblebee. I've got a good record at the moment. I haven't dropped Bumblebee since like Mongolia. Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! I broke my rib. <laughs> so let's not break that record today. So many horses, look at this. Wow. So I can definitely see that horse trekking and ATV riding is extremely popular here. <laughs> it was definitely very, very sandy at some points. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow, this area looks so nice. 
can see all the cave houses over there in the background yeah i think these are like hotels as well that's so cool oh up there there are people up there yeah like this is a massive tourist area here i'm not surprised i mean this is like one of the nicest places ever look at this that looks really cool really cool wow that's incredible wow 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 so this is the place that we're gonna try and see if they got a spot for us Oh, panorama say, camping to say swimming pool swimming pool indeed oh my god okay okay let me just come off a little bit whoa look at this view though wow so yes they do have a space for us which is great and uh he says it's 600 lira for the night which is about 18 pounds a little bit more than we expected but we are really 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 close to the area where the balloons are going to be tomorrow which is exactly what we want. So which way did they go? This way. This way? Ha. Ah. Yeah, just against the wall. Okay. Okay. Cool. Guys, check out this view from the top of this campsite. There's a reason it's called Panorama Camping. Take a look at this. Oh, what an amazing place to end the day. Yeah, I'm so glad that we could just rock up here and he's like, yeah, I have a space for you, no problem. I mean, this campsite must be packed in the high season. It's so incredible. Yeah, because basically from here, if you want to, you can stay here and tomorrow morning you will see all the balloons taking off from down there in the valley. But we want to get even closer. So tomorrow morning we are going to ride Bumblebee about two minutes back to where we were just before when we arrived in town. That area there is exactly where all the balloons are going to be taken off from. So that's where we want to be to get up close to them. It's going to be awesome. The guy from the camping said, we've got to get there like five o'clock. And then he says like 10, 15 minutes and it's all over. They're all in the air, they're all going. So hopefully we will wake up tomorrow early enough to see this spectacle and not uh, sleep in. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> yes. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. We can't turn our drone on anymore. Yeah, I think the on off button is broken. Can't seem to get it on. It's supposed to do like do 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 do. Come on. I was hoping to fly it over, over this little town. Just show you guys the view. That's the view. Mm. There's nothing, nothing nicer than this in the world. Mm.